Um, sleeping at night. Salacha says as follows. Asur lishan lishan keshiru lebado b'bayit mepenah hashas sakana min hamazikin. Meim yashen bechadar lebado. Veyeshnam ob v'nei adam bechadarim asimuchim. Ve'en deret hadron leula. Ve'chodim lftoa hadaret likanes lachadar. Yesh laaked b'zeh afilu b'laila. One is forbidden to sleep in the house by himself alone. Because of sakana from the mazikin. However, if there are other people sleeping in the house, even if you're sleeping in your own room, that would be mutar, that would be okay. And he brings another uh, another case where it's mutar. Let's say you have lights on, or during the daytime when there is light coming into the house. And there are other people in the building. So let's say a person is not in his own private home where it's uh, by himself only. Rather, there are other people that are attached in the same house, <coughs> other apartments, things like that. Even if they can't really get into his house technically, that would be okay. That would be mutar, whether during the day or during the night. So again, if a person has a multi-family house and he wants to sleep, and there are lights on in the house, there's no hashash. This isul, where, again, we're, where we're saying that one should try to avoid sleeping at home alone, is specifically when there are no, there's nobody else in that house that you're sleeping in, and the house has no other apartments that are attached to it. If there are no apartments attached to that house, and again, the house is by itself, as, an, as alone, alone by itself, and you're the only person in the house, one should avoid sleeping by himself in the house, rather he should sleep with others. <laughs>